Hello there my little goldies and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video. So this video uh, is going to be kind of a longer one. I don't know how long but I got quite a bit to say. So what's going to be happening here is I'm going to give like a little update and then I do have quite a haul to show you guys. Yes I do have another haul which it's been a while since I've had a haul for you guys like a real haul. I think the last thing that I showed you guys was two coloring books I got. Um, and I did flip throughs of them and stuff and that was the last video that I made but you're gonna see that um, this video uh, is gonna be a little bit longer and like I said I have an update and then I will show you the items I got so um, I'm gonna talk at you for just a, a, a couple of minutes here and so just so you don't have to keep looking at my table I just put a couple of things down here this is my current travelers notebook that I am using at the moment this is the ladylike from Prima marketing and then this is my dog wisdom journal which is the current journal that I am writing in right now so Anyway, I wanted to go ahead and put uh, this on the table so that you guys weren't looking just at the, the table. And then I did put my nails back on, so um, I did this probably about a week and a half ago. Um, we spent the last five days in Columbus, Ohio for Alliance Club Forum, and we just got back yesterday. I'm recording this actually on Monday, the 24th of September. And so we left last Wednesday and then got back on um, Sunday, which was yesterday. So um, I was at a commission for then, but let me just kind of give you guys a little bit of an update of what's going on. Um, I did make a video some weeks back where I showed you guys Jewelry Box and uh, Magical Fairies from Creative Haven, and I did a, a little flip through, and I kind of talked about why I hadn't made a video in a while. Well, it's been a little bit since I made that video, so, but let me just kind of give you guys a little clue what's going on. I am still doing my transfer for my, my blog. Um, I talked about that in my last video. I'm still trying to transfer my Forever in Time story onto my WordPress blog. I'm doing that from the um, blog spot to WordPress. And if you're not a blogger, you're, you're probably not very familiar with those terms. But basically, WordPress and Blogger are two sites that you host blogs on. So I'm making a switch from one to the other because I like WordPress a lot better, really. And... I could have like done it all kind of automatically, just kind of like um, exported the file and then just kind of transferred it in. But um, I'm actually rewriting a lot of the story too. So I wanted to kind of do each post like one at a time and, and I'm kind of tweaking a few things. So anyway, um, I will leave a link in the description to that blog if you want to see that. Basically what that is, it's, it's a, um, I like writing stories. And so what I do on there is I take my, I write my story and it's kind of an ongoing story. Uh, called Forever in Time and so what I do is I write the story and then I use my Sims 3 game to you know to take screenshots of the characters and to stage everything and and so I will put like pictures underneath the text and kind of illustrate it that way. Um, I do have other stories and other blogs but if you go to um, it's and it's sweetnightingale.com again it'll be in the description section but if you go to sweetnightingale.com you'll be able to navigate to all of the other stories and stuff that I have. So um, I'm going to be kind of changing up my description section just a little bit to kind of take some of that off of there because I got a lot in that description section and there's probably no way that you guys are going to like look at the whole thing <laughs> because there's a lot of information there. But um, what I will say is, is the items that I'm showing you guys today, um, I will put links in the description to Amazon for each item so that if you want to purchase the items, you can do that. They will also, um, I'll, I'll try to update my influencer store so that you can um, shop for them that way. I am an Amazon affiliate, so anytime you decide to purchase anything through any links that I provide through Amazon, I get a small little commission back, and that just kind of goes back in to help support the channel, and so I have new things to show you guys. Okay, so that's that's my little spiel there. But anyway, um, going back to what I was saying before, so um, I'm going to be changing up the description section of the videos so that um, maybe try to condense things down just a little bit. So, But I will put the link to the sweetnightingale.com so that you can take a look at that blog if you so choose. Um, I'm actually quite proud of it, and if you like to read, you know, um, feel free to come over and take a little gander at my writing. Yeah, I'd love that. All right, so let me just tell you a little bit more of what's going on. So I've been keeping busy with that. And like I said, we've spent the last five days in Columbus, so I was out of commission there. But um, there's just another reason that I've kind of been a little lax is I've been in a funk. Like I've been, I've been kind of in a YouTube funk and I'm kind of, I feel like I'm at a crossroads right now. Um, there's been some things that have been troubling me lately. Um, I'm not gonna go into the whole thing, but 
you know, because this isn't really the place to do that. But um, I'll just try to keep it as condensed as I can. But there's just been a few things that have been troubling me and I'm feeling, I, I've been feeling just kind of out of sorts about things. And so I, I'm kind of going through a thing where I just, I don't know where I stand right now. And I just, I don't know, uh, like, I just, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, we don't know what's going to happen from day to day or anything like that, but I'm just, I, I'm kind of at the point where I just don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Um, I just, I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know um, where I stand. Um, I, I'm kind of, you know, I guess the, the best way I can explain it is I really don't feel, I, I really don't know where I belong. <laughs> if that makes any sense and i'm and i'm trying i'm i'm kind of laughing a little bit because i i feel like i kind of sound ridiculous saying it but i just i'm kind of feeling where i just i don't know where my place is at the moment um in in certain things and so with feeling that way um i've been just in a funk and i'm just i'm really just kind of at a loss as far as like what direction and stuff to take with with uh, different things so I'm trying to get back into the swing of things. I'm trying to find my rhythm. I just, I'm, I'm trying to get, I'm trying to get myself out of this little box that I've kind of gotten into. <laughs> and I'm, I'm just trying to figure out, I, I'm just, I'm just trying to figure things out right now. And so I, I just, I need to figure out, I, I need to find my rhythm again. And I need to just kind of figure out um, what it is that I'm supposed to be doing, I guess, um, is about the best way I know how to put it. Um, I, it, it's like, it, it's like I have a lot of irons in the fire and I, I just, I don't know where I stand with any of it, to be honest. So anyway, I've been just kind of, like I said, I've just been kind of in that funk because of my state of mind, I guess, right now. Uh, so just bear with me you guys i mean i i will i will get out of this i will i will eventually get out of this i just don't know how um and i just don't know what procedure that i'm gonna be taking to try to get myself back on track here but anyway um i mean i am okay you know physically i'm okay and for the most part you know i am okay it's just right now i'm feeling you know, just kind of out of sorts with, with things. And I, I don't know how to get myself back to where I was. Um, I'm not feeling my usual joyous, I'm not feeling my usual joyous, you know, personality. Um, you know, and I didn't want to come on here and sort of come on here and sound really bummed out because like when you, I'm a firm believer that when you come on here and try to make a video, um, you know, people are going to be able to tell what your mood is, even though you may not be showing your face or anything, but people are going to be able to tell that, um, you know, like, let's say just my heart wasn't in it. Like you guys would be able to tell, like, you know, if your heart's not in it, you know, people are, people are going to be able to tell that something is up. And I didn't want to come on here and just kind of do like a, a half-assed job of, of, of this. So, um, I'm, you know, like I said, I've been just kind of in this funk and I'm just trying to kind of figure out where my place is with, with things. Um, and also the fact that we've been in Columbus and I am still doing my transfer, um, has been keeping me very busy. So I've had a lot of time to, I've sort of had a lot of time to think, although we've been very busy. Um, but I just, I haven't come to any like epiphanies or anything like that. So I just, I don't know guys, just, I'm just going to ask you guys to bear with me because, um, you know, it's been, I, I've, I've been having a hard time lately. You know, I'm just going to say that I've been having a, a bit of a hard time lately. So, but anyway, um, enough about that. Let's go ahead and get on with the haul. <laughs> All right, so um, I did get a lot of what I'm going to show you guys. I did get one coloring book, um, but I did get quite a lot of stuff that has to do with like writing and 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 journaling and stuff. So anyway, let's go ahead and get on with the the thing here. So the first thing that I will show you guys, like I said, I did get one coloring book, and yay! It was actually my very first piece of happy mail. <laughs> so um, I got Bennett Klein's Bloom. I've actually had this on my um, coloring wish list for quite a while, um, but just had never picked it up. So um, the, the the lady who got it for me, her name is Sharon. 
Her name is also Sharon. So thank you, Sharon, so much for this beautiful, beautiful Bennett Klein book. I really, really appreciate it. Um, and like I said, it's my very, very first piece of happy mail. So thank you, thank you so much. I mean, you certainly didn't have to do that, but I so, 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 so appreciate it. So let me just show you guys a few of the pages in here. Now, um, this is on Create Space Paper, as you guys know with Bennett Klein. And so he's got a table of contents and it just kind of talks, it, it just kind of gives the name of each picture that he has done. But, you know, with this being called Bloom, we're gonna be seeing like a lot of flowers and, and, and plants and things and greenery and, and that kind of stuff. So, um, but it is grayscale, so um, you'll be able to grab like, um, now Prismacolors I don't think are gonna work very well on this, but my Polychromos I think will work very, very nicely and um, as will like uh, Black Widows. So um, I'm looking forward to actually doing some pages in this. I have not touched it yet. I mean, I've touched it, you know, to kind of look at the book, but as far as like coloring in it yet, I have not done so any. Um, in fact, I've really not colored lately. Like I said, with this funk that I'm in, I've just, I haven't felt like coloring. I've been in a journal slump. Um, I've been barely even keeping up with my planner. <laughs> so, you know, like I said, it's been kind of affecting a lot of different areas so but I am trying to find my rhythm again and and we shall we shall muddle through so this is bloom by Bennett Klein so thank you so much Sharon for sending this to me um, I was so 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 surprised and shocked and grateful and blessed and, and thank you so much I really do appreciate that all right so moving along I'm just gonna try to keep all this organized so I don't lose anything all right so my husband got me a couple of fountain pens and I have them here in this case. They, do, they did come with pen boxes, but I have them in the other room and I didn't grab them. I decided to go ahead and put them in this case. So let me just go ahead and grab them out of here. So first of all, we have, um, now I don't have a pen box for this one because this is a vintage pen, but this one, um, and I think this is a Parker. But this is called Cracked Ice, and it is a vintage pen. As you can see, it's got the lever fill, and I do have ink in this, so I'm not going to, um, I'm not gonna move the, the, uh, you know, the lever, because I don't want to spritz ink everywhere. <laughs> but that is called Cracked Ice, okay? And let me just grab the next couple of pens here. All right, so this next one here is another vintage pen. This one is an Esterbrook, and I'm kind of standing up a little bit so that um, I can show this to you guys, but um, because I was kind of far away, but this is an Esterbrook, which is another vintage pen, and the cap just kind of uh, pulls off like that. I don't have this one inked up because I've got uh, some pens inked up that I need to empty out and finish writing with before I ink any more up because sometimes you can have too many inked up and then your ink is going to dry up if you don't use it in time. So yeah, um, but you can see that it's got the lever fill on the lever filling system on there, which is a, a vintage filling system. So this is what the feed looks like. And then this is the nib, nib in the feed, or that's the feed. And then this here's the nib. Okay. So um, let me grab this other pen out of here because that I had already showed you guys, but um, I was kind of far away. So let me just bring it up a little bit closer so you guys can see that. This is the Cracked Ice. And again, it's a vintage pen. We've got the lever filling system right there. All right, so there's those two. And I have two more to show you guys. Uh, let's see, let me go ahead and put these back. Now the next two that I'm gonna show you guys are from the same brand, but they're different colors. And these are modern pens. Now I don't have these inked up yet because as I said, I need to get some of my other ones emptied out before I ink up any more. That way I don't have a dried up mess eventually. So this one is a Conklin Duragraph, okay? Now this is a modern pen. Um, Conklin um, used to be a, a vintage pen company. Um, they went out of business, they went belly up, and then somebody, another company bought the name and started making modernized pen versions of the vintage ones. So this one is a Duragraph, I believe. And here, this is a red one. Again, I don't have it inked up yet because I'm trying to get some of my other ones done, but it's a cartridge converter pen. And so you just, um, you can fill this up from your bottle of ink, okay? And then I have the same thing in this green color. It's the same model of pen. And I think these are medium nibs. 
but I will eventually ink these up and write with them and they'll be used in my journals and stuff. And if you guys want me to, like I can start making videos of the current fountain pens that like maybe once a week or maybe twice a month or something of the current fountain pens that, that I have inked up that I'm using. If that's something that you guys may want to see, just let me know and we can certainly provide that for you guys. So I'm just putting my pens back in my case. Uh, this is the case I took with me when we went to Columbus. I had several pens in here. All right, so that is my uh, fountain pens. All right, so the next things I'm gonna show you guys are some notebooks and stuff. Um, let's see, I showed you the coloring book. You saw the fountain pen, pens. All right, so moving, moving right along here. So the next thing I got is this A5 planner sort of journal notebook. Now I got this on Amazon. Um, everything I got here except for the pens came from Amazon. And I don't even know if you can find the pens on Amazon. I can try, but um, if you go to like goulet.com or andersonpen.com, you can find those Conklins. So anyway, um, this notebook was made by a person called Chris W. And this, uh, I think was kind of more of like a homemade kind of thing. Um, it looks, it's not really a Filofax, but it's got the same kind of ring system that a, a Filofax or a Kiki K planner has but it's got the snap button, you know, to open it and close it. And it's just made of the, the outside is just this like sort of tough sort of plastic. It, it feels very well made. It's not very flimsy, but it's, it's very floppy. It is very floppy, but it's not really flimsy. So it is an A5 size and it's got the six rings that you system that you would normally see like in a Filofax or a Kiki K. And I'll show you everything that it comes with. Um, it didn't come with any like planner inserts. It came with like note paper. So you got a clear ruler. You got a zip bag that you can file some things in. So it just um, comes open like that. You can file some things in there. Um, I don't have it set up or anything right now because I just I just got it. Um, well, actually, I've had it for about a month, but I haven't used it yet. So it it does uh, <laughs> it does come with six dividers. And they're actually very, very pretty. They're very, very pretty. They kind of feel like that acetate, you know, like transparency slide kind of stuff. So it has like six dividers and it comes with, um, I don't know how many sheets it came with, but there's different paper in here. There's line paper, there's blank paper, and there is um, grid paper. So it, the, paper, the pages um, flip over the rings very easily. The rings feel kind of small, so they're not like really big rings or anything so you're going to be kind of limited with what you can put in here um but you could certainly definitely use this for like a loose leaf journal you can use this to put your planner inserts in if you want to um so i thought it was kind of neat i saw it um i liked how the dividers and stuff looked and i thought you know it's, it's different like i I don't, I don't know how many people actually have something like this, so I wanted to try it and, and see if I liked it. And so far, I think it's gonna do well. Um, it lies flat, you know, it, it does lie flat, which is great. Um, it is it is very floppy. This part here is clear, so this could catch like a lot of dirt if you're not careful. But um, it is kind of a, it is an A5, but with the smaller rings, it is kind of skinny. Um, I think I could get maybe a little bit more in it, but not too much. Um, it's going to be one of your smaller, because it's got the smaller rings, you're not going to be able to get as much in there. But um, I think for uh, something that's kind of like lightweight feeling, I think this is pretty cool. I really don't have any problems with this. So I will link this in the description section if you want that. All right, so the next thing that we're going to look at is... Um, now I've had this for probably about the last month to six weeks. This is called the um, uh, the term life, the master plan. Um, and if you are familiar with like um, Alexa's or Miss Trenchcoat on YouTube, this is actually her hard copy planner. It's a soft cover book, and it's got an it's got like um, undated pages in it uh, for um, for planning. It's got undated pages, so it's not set for any specific year. And then in the beginning, she just talks about like how to use it and stuff. But um, this is her, if you're familiar with, with who she is on YouTube, this is her planner. Um, this is the her bound version of what she actually has in her shop that she sells for like Filofaxes and stuff like that. So um, you got 
all different kinds of pages in here. There's like, um, there's monthlies, there's weeklies, and it's all undated. So there's enough in here for a year, okay? And then, um, you know, there's places to put like to-do lists and weeklies and, and things like that. So then there's also another section in here for like, um, let me try to flip through it so I can find it. There is another section in here where she's got project planning. Okay, where is it, where is it, where is it? So, okay. So she's got, um, she's got a brilliant ideas section right there, okay. So this is where you can put like your brainstorms and, and things like that, okay. And then there's also, uh, I know there's more things in here. I'm just trying to flip through it so we can find it. So there's like brainstorming things in here. Um, I know there was that project section. Let's see. I don't want to make a career of this. <laughs> okay, so important projects. So she's got it laid out where you can do, like where you can list like long-term projects and then um, like shorter term ones and, and so forth. And she's got enough pages in here that it should last you at least a year. Um, and so it's, it's, pretty, it's pretty cool. Um, the paper feels pretty nice. It's kind of thin. But um, if you like, if you wanted to use fountain pen in it, I would suggest using a fine point um, nib because this paper would it would probably bleed through otherwise on this paper because it is kind of thin. But um, it's not it's not a bad little planner, and I actually was able to get this um, because I had some Amazon points racked up, so I didn't have to pay full price for this. But it is in, in book form. But if you want it for like your Filofax or something, then you could go onto her shop and order the inserts for that but i wanted to try this out and see how i liked it and so i'm pretty sure i'm going to be using this next year all right so moving along i did get a journal i got this journal this is the i believe it's called a galaxy journal yeah galaxy journal from peter popper press and this is more of the i think um five by seven kind of journal i think so here's what the end papers look like. And then you have a pocket on the back on the inside right there. And so these journals are quite nice. Um, this is Peter Popper Press. The paper in here feels pretty nice. It actually works very well with my fountain pens. The li it's lined, it is a ruled journal, but the lines are very faint. And I do believe it does have a bookmark, I think. Oh, well, maybe not, I don't see a bookmark. But anyway, um, it does have this elastic to close it up with. It does have an elastic closure. And then that pretty galaxy pattern on it. So that's a very, very pretty journal. Okay, so the next thing that I got that I want to show you is a notebook. Um, this is from Webster's Pages. This is a composition planner, and I've still got the um, plastic on it. I'll take it off so that we can actually see what it's going to look like. But it says hello on the plastic. And then let me just take that off for just a minute. So um, this is a, a size of a um, composition book. Okay, so if you're familiar with like composition notebooks, um, this is a, they call this a, a comp planner, a composition planner, but this is basically a composition notebook holder. So you open it up. Now this is what's called the gold dots. This is like one of the newer styles. And I think they just came out with this particular thing, uh, this particular binder or whatever this year. So you open it up and if you want to take it as a wallet, you can do that. It's got credit card slots. It's got a um, clear pocket right there. And it's got a couple of more pockets here. Like you could, um, you could put something in here in this pocket, and then over here in this pocket, you could actually put another composition notebook in there. It does come with a composition book already placed in, in it, and it goes right there in that pocket. There's a couple of more pockets right there. Actually, one more pocket right there. Uh, there's a pocket right there that you can put another smaller notepad in here. Um, it's got two. 10 loops, I think. Oh, and it's got a charm on it too. So it's it's got a charm on the pen loop, okay? It's got a pen loop. It's actually got, um, no, it's actually just got the one pen loop. So the, the charm, if you're familiar with Webster's Pages, it's got like a little le leather, leatherette kind of charm on there. And it says, and I can't really read this. Okay, this one says happy. The little tag there says happy. 
and it's held on there by a charm on the pen loop. So uh, this it does come with one composition book, and this one is a lined composition book. So this is quite a bit bigger than an A5. If you're, if you're familiar with A5, then um, you will know that this is quite a bit bigger. So this is more like, I think a Mead composition book would fit in here. Um, you can also get these composition books from Webster's Pages and maybe more companies will start making them too. The paper in this book feels very, very nice. I could so see myself like using this to take notes with or even using this as a journal. Um, like maybe an on-the-go journal or something. Um, so this is this is actually very, very nice. And it does come with other inserts that you can put in there, which I'm going to show you guys. So along with the composition book itself, and I'm going to put that right there, along with the composition book itself, I did get several notebooks. So I got this one here. It says, um, it says, uh, uh, just start. And I'm going to go ahead and take it out of the packaging, okay? So here's what it looks like on the back. And this one, it looks like it is going to be a, is this a, is this a grid notebook? I don't know, let's see. So let me just show you guys what this is gonna look like. So here is the Just Start, and it looks like it's kinda got some reinforced binding right there. And this one is a planner. This is like a monthly planner. It's an undated planner, okay? So you can see that it's got your months in there. And then if you go here, it's got some weeklies right there. So you can go ahead and fill those in as you need. And it's got one week per page. Again, the paper in here feels very, very nice. I think you could probably get away with fountain pen in here as long as it's not a triple broad because it would probably bleed through. But um, this is an, an undated monthly and weekly planner. So I think this would be enough to get you through one year, perhaps, I think, I think. So this is the Just Start notebook. Okay. And I'm going to put this off to the side. Uh, maybe. Sorry guys for the noise. <laughs> All right, so then um, the next notebook that I got is this Gold Hearts notebook, okay? And this one I think may just be blank pages. It kind of tells you what's what's actually going to be in the in the notebook. This might be the this might be the daily tracker. Let's see. Let's open it up and find out. Okay. I think these notebooks are so 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 pretty. So this one has the, the gold um, the gold hearts on it. And this book is, yes, this is the Daily Tracker, it looks like. So it's got, um, so what this is, is it's got um, one page per day, and it's got like where, you, where you, like you have email and calling appointments to do. You can do meal planning in it. Um, you've got appointments. You've got um, like to-dos. So this is kind of like a, a daily, like if you need some extra room for certain days, you can certainly do that. And it's undated. It's undated, so you can actually label it as you need. And there's quite a few pages in here. I don't know how many pages there are in here, but um, it's pretty cool. Again, the paper feels quite nice. Okay. So there's your daily kind of habit tracker sort of appoint, daily appointment uh, notebook. And then now this one here, um, this one feels like it's got lined pages, I think. Let me go ahead and open this one up. Now this one looks like it is spiral bound rather than the sort of cloth sort of reinforced binding that we have seen. So let me see how to open this up. Let's see. Okay, guys, you know what? Uh, looking at this one notebook here, um, I realized that they screwed up. Amazon screwed up. Um, this red notebook from Staples was not supposed to come in that package. What was supposed to come in this package was this notebook here. Can you guys see that right there on the packaging right there? Uh, the wrong notebook came in this package. So guess what I get to do? I get to talk to Amazon and find out what happened. Lovely. So I got the wrong notebook in this package. So uh, we have <laughs> we have the two Webster's pages and this 
Staples notebook that I wasn't supposed to get. All right, guys. Um, I will let you know how I will let you know how that turns out. So what I'm going to do is we're going to take this, and I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug in my monthly and weekly insert in here, which I can do this way, and hopefully we can do it without tearing it up. <laughs> So I'm going to just try to slide it in here. Okay. Is it gonna work? All right, so I went ahead and, and maneuvered it in here. It can get a little stiff. Uh, I think especially when this is, especially when it's new, I think it can get a little bit stiff. And so you have to kind of maneuver it a little bit, but I did get it in there. And so here is my monthly and weeklies and stuff. And then here is the regular um, lined paper right there. So with two notebooks in there, it still will lie very flat. And then if you want to, you can um, put another notebook or something back there if you so choose. So that is the composition planner from Webster's Pages in the gold dot edition. And then again, we have the gold hearts daily tracker and then i got this like regular notebook <laughs> um all right so let's see what else we have here i have two more things to show you guys um this is also from webster's pages so um i decided to go ahead and leave it in the box to actually show you guys how it is packaged so this one here and i've been so obsessed with these like travelers notebooks so um it's got a vellum page in here and it says hello and it says webster's pages um, since, uh, let's see, uh, Est 1986, which is, I think, when they started it. So here is a traveler's notebook. This is also in the gold dots edition. And then, uh, this little gold tag here says, uh, happy. Okay. And then, so we just open it up and... It has, it comes with one notebook, it is blank pages. And then it's also got four bands in here. There's two of them right there and then there's two here. So let's say we slide out this notebook and I'll show you. So there's four elastics in here so you can put four inserts or four notebooks in here. So one, two, three, four, okay, just like so. So then they're just easy to slide in notebooks. So we'll just put that back in there like how it came. So again, it's like the composition book that I showed you guys in the gold dots, as we can see. Same kind of pattern, matchy matchy, look at that. <laughs> so here is my latest craze to my traveler's notebook obsession. <laughs> very, very pretty. And we'll just go ahead and put them back in the box for now, just to keep it protected. All right, so then the last thing that I'm going to show you guys is another planner. Now, I was able to get a few things because I had some Amazon points racked up, plus I did get, a, whoops, and I did drop a few things. Um, I did get, um, I, I do have, I did have some Amazon points racked up, plus I got an Amazon gift card, so I was actually able to get um, a few things and to be able to show this haul to you guys. Ugh, all right. Okay. I'm running out of room here, guys. All right. So, now, let's grab this. So, the last thing that I'm going to show you guys is another thing from Webster's Pages. This is another planner. Okay. And this is also in the, let me sh show you this. This is also going to be in the gold dots. So again, we have another piece of vellum in here. It says, hello. And we have, um, welcome, Webster's Pages, Est 1986, which is what we get in all of these boxes. This is how their planners come, with the exception of the composition book that just had the plastic around it. But um, this is also in the gold dots just like the other two things that I showed you guys. And this is an A5 planner. 
So it's got your pockets in here and it's got like a little card already in there. So you can put credit cards, business cards, that kind of thing in here. You got a secretarial pocket and then there's a pocket right there. Um, this is a ring bound planner and I'm not going to take out, maybe I should take out that, uh, that cardboard let's see all right let's go ahead and get on with this so um i've taken out that cardboard it's got a snap closure so we're going to open it up and we're just going to kind of look and see what's inside this baby so got the rings this is an a5 size um so we've got a clear ruler we've got our fly leaf right there and we've got another piece of vellum right there and this one says um uh, be happy piece of velvet says be happy and so we have some dividers and this is divided up into different months and stuff so we have some pages right there paper that you can write on here is another piece of plastic uh, another divider and so here is our here's going to be our monthly divider so we've got like um, sort of a vision board I guess for the month and then we have the um, We've got the, what is this? Um, we've got the sketches, if you wanna do sketches. Different like scrapbooking paper and stuff in here. Webster's Pages is actually a scrapbooking company, but they've gotten into planners and, and things like that. So here's just some different papers that you can mess with. Now I think we're getting into the monthly dividers, uh, perhaps, I think. Yeah, um, so here is our monthly things, it looks like. And weeklies and stuff right there. Haven't really looked through this very much. I just got this in right before we left for Columbus. So I didn't get a chance to really look at this, but here is, uh, like for example, uh, there's another divider. Um, okay, now we've gotten some scrapbook paper, like some different, uh, different papers here. So like I said, they give you some papers and stuff to do like memory keeping with, because they are a scrapbooking company. So, Okay, now, 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 we are getting into monthly things. Um, I was mistaken. <laughs> we just have like different papers and stuff over here that we were looking at. So now we're getting into our monthly things. So, um, we got a few, you got a few uh, pages in with each month. You got a monthly calendar on two pages. Here's your weeklies. And, They've included quite a bit in each month. And like I said, it's divided up into your different months. So like here is uh, April, for example. Okay, and so the same thing. It's divided up into the different tabs, like so. I don't wanna make a whole career out of this, but you got, um, you got some weeklies. Looks like it's, Two pages per week or a week on two pages kind of thing these are all undated so you can um, fill that in as needed um, this did come with the planner okay just one thing about these planners is sometimes like you got to kind of grab the pages and flip it over the rings because sometimes it gets a little stuck so then you get on the back here it says she designed a life she loved then you got another um, fly leaf over here to protect your pages to keep it from curling around the rings. Over here you get another pocket that you can put some stuff in plus you can put in a notepad if you so choose. So that is the planner, the A5 size planner in the gold dots. And I'm just going to make sure that everything is flat so we don't mess up any pages. Okay, so there is that. So that concludes our haul for this video. So we have this planner here. And again, we have our charm on this little pen loop, which it does come with a pen loop. So this is the A5 Gold Box Planner from Webster's Pages. And we're just gonna box everything back up. Okay. We're just gonna box everything back up until I get ready to use it. 
So here is the A5 Webster's Pages Planner. We've got a disorganized mess is what we've got. All right, so then we've got the uh, Traveler's Notebook in the same pattern. I'm not gonna lift up the box. We've got the um, Gold Dots or Gold Hearts Notebook with the daily pages. We got the Composition Planner, which I have the um, I have the monthlies and weekly planner in here, and then it came with the lined notebook right there. And then I got this regular notebook. We have the Charmed Life Master Plan. We've got the Galaxy Journal. We have the three fountain pens that I showed you guys in this case. We've got the Chris W. Notebook. We've got, and we've, last but not least, we have the um, Bennett Klein Bloom Coloring Book. So that concludes our haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. You can find links in the description section to most, if not all, of the products. So you can check that out if you so choose. Leave a comment and tell me what you think. Hit that like button, of course. And if you have not done so already, subscribe to this channel so you can see more awesomeness like this. And we will be trying to get back into our rhythm, so just bear with me, you guys. I will just ask you guys to do that. Um, so anyway, that concludes this video. Leave a comment. Like I said, hit that like button, subscribe, and then while you're subscribing, hit that bell so you can be notified when new videos are uploaded. You all have a great day, and we will talk to you in the next video. Bye, my little goldies.